Welcome to the long dark science experiments. Okay, it's just early morning. I'm gonna sleep longer. Dear deer hide, we need some guts. Hunting knife and hatchet. Just the one cured gut? Looks like it. I like how the echoes sound, eh? These are cured, cured, cured deer hide. So what do we have? What's our clothing look like? We have the great bear skin coat. We need a moose, moose carrying thing, don't we? Good luck finding that. What do we got for weapons? Where do we leave the rifle? We put it away in the, in here. seeing a rifle here. I think we left it back out in the fishing hut. Oh, old. Boy, it's noisy out here. Okay. What I'm curious about is if that moose is anywhere around. What the heck was that? Did you hear that sound? Oh, it's freaky. Okay. Over here we have a bunch of moldy bear meat. 54%. So that will cook up nicely. There it is again. That is weird. We're here getting slowed down here for some reason. The snow and this, this is easier to go on than the snow. Yeah. So we've looted this house. There's another flare.
Well, what should we do today? I think we should make a couple more, a couple more um, snares, and go and repeat our snare experiment. Pick up some wood. See if we hear the bear. Over here we have the remains of the bear. Seven charcoals. Well, that was good. I do not see any feathers. It's just too stormy. But our storm is ending here. Oh, I spoke too soon. So let's look at our map. Try that again. So we've mapped just about everything here, except straight that way and up the hill. And down here this way too. Right around there, we have a map there. So let's get up here as high as we can and map this. I think we've already done this. Yeah, we got wind shelter. Oh, now we lost our wind shelter. There's a deer. Oh, cool. Run away, deer. We have enough deers. There's two of them here. So what does that tell us? That there's no wolves up here. When you're out exploring in a fog and you stop to pick up something, you can lose your sense of direction because you have nothing to orient you. So you need something to orient you. What you can do is drop something, back up, and then look around or whatever you want to do. So you, you mark your trail as you go. Oh, cool. Neat little spot up here. You could probably have a fire up here. So that opens opens it up a little bit. Yeah, so we're up here. If we go straight south, straight south is over that way. So typically what you do is you follow the boundary. The boundary is where you can get to, but you can't get above without jumping. If you jump, what's that going to do to the edges of everything? It looks like we can get safely get up on top of this and charcoal up here as well. Have a chart. Ooh. Wolves, I love the wolves. They sound so cool. Okay. Is there a waterfall here? So that gets us down here. This is the border. I'm having a feeling we're right about here. So it it looks pretty tice, dicey here, but we'll, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to go back the way we came. 
Maybe. Is there a waterfall here? I think there is a waterfall here. So this is where you Skyrim. I'm going to go down like this and crouch. We might break an ankle here. Oh, yes, we did. We tore our clothes, too. Mom's going to be mad at us. Hey, there's a dude. Do we have him on our chart? No, we don't. And what's that thing there? What's that rock? Stand up again. Since we're on a slope, we can move safely. Oh, nice. So we can get up here. Oh, darn it. We're stuck. So beyond this tree, we cannot get. So we're going to have to go down. Lose a little bit of altitude. And then we get over here. Let's get here so we can see down that road. And chart this. This is going to be an easy day because we don't have a lot of energy. We don't have a lot of fatigue left. So that corpse, he's not showing up. There should be a corpse right about there because we can see him from here. Where is he? Where did I see that guy? I thought he was down there somewhere. Come on, get up there. See, I'd like to get up on top of this rock. But it's too steep. So I'm going to be forced to go under it. I might be able to get up on it from the other side. Yeah, we can get up here. We can actually get up quite a ways. Okay, let's do sprained wrist. Let's do sprained ankle. Okay, so then we go over here to this. This is the painkillers. We only have six left. That means we're going to need to make... Uh, Make some tea. Add to radio. Okay. Medicine. Painkillers, yes. So we still have the sprained wrist. So let's go and fix that. Pack, first aid. Let's try this. There. Slightly different interface, but it does the same thing. So we've healed that wrist. One of the reasons why is because we are so fatigued and we're still out here. Pushing the limits of fatigue. So this is interesting. Look at this. There's actually an overhang here. So if you were to get up there, you would have to crawl. And where would you get up? See, this is this is a vertical face. You can't climb that. But over here, it looks like there's another 
slanted face that we could climb up. So it's the slanted faces. Oh, see, this is where the jump would help, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's map this. We actually have a ton of charcoal. I think we left it all back in the Quonset. Okay, so we're up here. And we need to map down there. So I don't think we can get up there. No, it's it's really intriguing though, isn't it? Like you could almost get up there. Almost. You can see up there, it's like steps. So these are the artificial boundaries of the maps. Beyond these zones, the maps haven't been really validated. So if you get out there, you could fall down. Okay, so we're somewhere over here. And we have two more charcoals. We're going to need more. I should have brought 10. If I'm going to go charting, I need about 10 at least. Oh, lovely. We're going to fall down here again. Uh, okay, we'll do this. And we're going uphill, so we'll go downhill. Stand up when we can. There we go. Let's get up here and chart the other side of this. We could find, up in one of these little tucked away places, a prepper's cache. That would be really nice. Oh, we can sort of get up on that. We can sort of get up on here. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah, you can't get up there. If you could, you could Skyrim there. Yeah, I'm I'm up here now. And that's as far as I can get. So we'll chart here. And we have one left. So that gets us over here. So we probably want to chart down here by com commuter's lament. That would be my next guess. Oh, how did I get up here? Ah Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, radial dial. That's gonna that's gonna take care of. Uh, well, that takes care of everything. We could get up there too, but we don't really get to have any more vantage from there. Oh, this this doesn't look safe. Hey, a bear. Smokey. Too bad I can't make a moose hide thing out of him. I kind of would just like to see where he goes. Kind of shadow him. Let me go down here, do a quick chart. And then we'll follow that bear. So we're by, we're right by the cottages. So let's refer to our map here. So we're right down here somewhere. Let's get right down there.
we're overweight again. How did we get overweight again? So right about there is where we want to be. Straight south of that big hill. It doesn't really map the hills very well. Are we getting thirsty yet? Our player hasn't reminded us. When I talk to him, I encourage him. you got to be sympathetic to the, to the poor guy. I mean, we're driving him here endlessly, walking, walking, day after day. Existing on very little good quality food and just just meat and moldy meat at that sometimes Rancid sardines poor guy Okay So let's look at where we are Yeah, right around there up as high as we can get I think this is it. That didn't really help that much, did it? Ooh, we be low on water, too. Okay, that's not going to be enough. It's only going to be half enough. So, we could make fire here. If there was a spot with a fireplace, that would be really nice. But there's not going to be. What's in there? A stone. Weird. That's weird. We still have lots of daylight. We don't have time to make a fire to get enough charcoal to chart down here. It would take over an hour. Wow, that wind is really fierce. We're not crouched, are we? No. Hmm. Wind chill is minus 11. Feels like 18. We're cozy. We're cozy with this bearskin coat on. I'm going to run a little bit. We won't be able to run for very long. Because we're going to get fatigued real fast. There's a stop sign. I'm thinking we might stop here. It's just, we're not going to 
Let's see. if there's a fireplace here, we can make we can make water. There may I may even have left water here. There's a burned down house here. There's some reishi mushrooms, which are good for food poisoning. No flag, no flag. Probably no fireplace. This is a larger house. I don't see a fireplace on it. But there'll be a bed here. We're going to need water real soon now. So, let's check the toilet. And where would that be? Ooh, we haven't searched this place yet. We could find water here. I'll bet you anything that there's water in the toilet. finding a whole lot here are we what is this oh it's just a cabinet door crackers oh a cooking pot I'll take it I love cooking pots You're darn right you will it seems echoey in here coffee oh and tomato soup and another pot well, well. If only we had a place that could take two pots, eh? No water. I know you are, buddy. Hang in there. We need to find water. Fleece mittens. Where does it say the warmth bonus on these? Okay. Anything down here? No washroom there. Washroom's got to be upstairs, eh? This is already empty. That means somebody's been here before. We have been in here, we just didn't search the kitchen. So chances are, there, there's water. No, we don't. Wow, that's nice. That gets us a bit of cloth. We've already searched that medicine cabinet. And it looks like we've gone through these already. Yep, yep, yep. Chances are we spied under the we spied under the bed already. take a look at our clothing and see what we got torn so it's hard to tell isn't it wearing 100% condition 91% 86 97 85 
95, 100, 100, 99, 94, 100, 81. So the deerskin boots could be repaired. <coughs> sort by condition. Yep. They took a beating. Decent thermal underwear, 85. So let's repair it. Repair, we need a cured deer hide. Repair amount is 14%, 86. Yeah, it would take it up to 100. This needs a cured rabbit pelt. And we have some cured guts on us, but. Uh, climbing socks, yeah, it's hardly worth bothering with these guys. 40 minutes for that little bit? So, let's look at our food. Let's eat this. These are all 100%. I always like to carry uh, these guys, these uh, cattail stalks, because they. Uh, They're really light and they don't degrade in condition. So, and, and they're always good. Okay, so what time is it now? Just early, early morning. We're thirsty and we need to eat. So let's eat this. Could have a fire out here. Wind chills, minus 14, 15. Oh, suddenly the wind just came up. Okay, so that changes everything about where you can have a fire. So we have more wind. But it's from a different direction this time. It'll be blowing us down the road. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not over all this wind. Yesterday evening, we saw the bear walking on this road. Wow, it sure gets noisy in spots here. And there's some wind shelter here. Let's see what conditions are like. Wind chill is minus two. You could have a fire here. Feels like plus seven, so... 
The air temperature is minus 20. And does it seem to be going down? Yeah. Well, there's no bear. There's some sticks over here. So we could have a fire here. Tinder is optional. We have two Tinder bundles. Okay, let's do this. Thirteen minutes, twenty two minutes, fifty five minutes. And let's make some, let's make some something. And what do we need? We need... We don't need coffee. We're all rusted up. We're probably going to need prepared rosehip tea, though. And we can cook up some dusty tomato soup. Ten minutes, four minutes. We'll just save that. Well, that didn't take any time at all. So we're not going to get any charcoal out of that fire. Mm. We can leave it burn out and pick up the charcoal later. If there was something out here, we could cook it. But we're quite a ways from, from home. Look at those clouds go. That sort of tells us the direction the wind is going, doesn't it? Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave this fire. We'll throw some more fuel on it. Okay, that's a three-hour fire now. There will be lots of charcoal there next time. Now, I think that we have left stuff out here. What's this thing? There's an old campfire out here, isn't there, from when we were cooking before and cooked the deer. There could be charcoal here. I bet you there's charcoal here. Take charcoal. One piece. One piece? Okay, let's look at our map. So, Misanthropes Island, just there. We need to map that. So, that's that way. Uh, 
Oh, man. There are some deers out there. It's a pity that we don't have the rifle. We bring the bow even. That's the other thing we need to do. Is some bow science experiments. So we're gonna go this way until we hit thin ice. I know it sounds dangerous, but somebody's gotta do it. So we're right between the island and misanthropes near the boats. So if we cruise along here on our way to the fishing hut, we may actually spot some stuff that's washed up on the beach. I'm staying more or less to the white spots here. Oh, we're out in the open here for sure. What's the wind chill here? Minus 16. Ooh. That way. This is going to be pretty close to thin ice here. Wow, we have gotten way out here. I did not know you could get out this far. This is going to be very interesting to chart out here. Okay, this looks like an edge here. This looks different. Yeah, this looks like thin ice here. Oop, the wind is dying. Wow. I can't believe we got all the way out here. That's got to be the edge there. That's got to be the edge. So we'll chart the edge. This is the edge here. Now, there's water there, and this ice goes right up to the edge. Wow, we're right on the very edge here. Okay, let's chart this. Wow. Oh, cool. Okay. I thought I saw something dark over there, but... There is some stuff over there. What is it though? It's a crowbar. No. It's a uh hey, let's uh let's drop stuff. We're gonna get we're gonna have to get uh our clothing right down.
so that we can run super fast okay so that gets us down to yeah so we can go and get that stuff Damn it. Hit the wrong button. So this is the edge. And what's our temperature now? What is our guy doing? He's freezing. And it feels like minus 20. So let's put some stuff on. That is soaked. That is soaked. Okay. Deer scum are on the inside. Okay. So that feels like plus five. So th that was, uh, where the heck is that stuff? Oh, we ended up getting it, I think. Yeah, we ended up getting it. There's some more stuff over there. See if we can walk out on this. No, we cannot get out there. Healed hypothermia risk. What are we talking about? We're actually warming up? Yes, we're warming up. <laughs> Where's our hat, by the way? Oh, we forgot to put our hat on. Yeah, that makes us feel better. Feels like plus nine. Okay. Uh oh. What the heck happened there? It got foggy, and we don't know where we are. I can hear waves over there. So I'm going to go this way. That's okay. Now we know where the edge is. We're going to follow this direction. Until we find Misanthropes Island. Oh, look, a deer. Hello, deer. Isn't that cool? We can get that close. Well, I'm going to follow a deer. Somebody said once that follow a deer, you get good luck. I don't think it's true. There's something. He is kind of leading us back to something. He's going to misanthropes. So now we know where we are. Let's go and find the rifle. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. Did we pick up that thing, by the way? Yeah, we got a green bear sapling. That's nice. Birds, I hear birds. I hear crows. I 
They're heading that way. Just dead reckoning. I know where misanthropes is. There should be a pile of bottles up here. Oh, darn it. That's freaky. That's unnerving. Okay, there's uh, there's an island. Somehow we walked right past. This will be Jackrabbit. So that means our fishing hut. Our fishing hut. Where the heck are we? Oh, okay. I know where we are. Misanthropes. Should be right this way. You see, if you're lost, you'll walk in circles. Is that true? I am. I'm bearing to the right a little bit here. I can see something ahead of us. But it's very gray. And that's enough to make you turn right there. There's waves. What has happened to our ice hut? It's around here somewhere. I don't see nothing on the beach though. Ah, there it is, finally. And there's a whole bunch of water here. From our water experiments. So let's stop, take inventory, uh, figure out what we want to do, and make a plan. That'll cook up nice. Okay. Look at all these rabbits. And they all have meat on them too. 100% frozen. No way to tell how good they are though. And the hides aren't cured so they're not much good. Ruined rabbit raw. Zero percent. I'm gonna throw that in the garbage. That actually we can eat. So we'll take our food, put it in here, and it won't go in. Uh, Okay, there's room in here, maybe. No room in there, either. No room in there, either. Eight pieces. Nice. 
Well, it's midday. We could go rabbit hunting. Snares. Did I bring any? I think I did not bring any. Yeah, I need reclaimed wood. And I cannot craft it right now. So where did I leave the uh, rifle? Well, that's what I'm wondering. There's a bunch of wood in there. There's one sun reclaimed wood. So we'll take that and then we'll uh, go into here. And uh, I don't think it's going to let us. No, we can't craft it. We have the stuff, but we don't have the crafting table. So. And I don't see the gun. Where did I leave it? Hmm? That's frustrating. Where did we leave the rifle? Well, okay, we have four. Now we have to get back home. Anybody got a clue how to do that? Hmm. Okay, we need a reference point. If we follow the line of that, that should take us to another another spot. The other uh, fishing hunt, right? And out here, there should be some crows and some tin cans and some feathers. I have a feeling all the stuff that was here is gone. Darn it, I can hear crows. Do you remember which way we were going? This way? Yes, I can definitely hear them. But where? Where are they? Come on, crows. We probably walked right by them, but couldn't see them in the fog. I see something in the haze there. It's hard to make out. Can you see it? Looks pretty much the same all over. I'm going to try and follow the sound of the crows. See, whenever I turn, oh, hello, crows. There we go.
Let's check the condition of this meat. 84%. It is still good. And there's more over here. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the sun is up there. That's where the sun is. So if that's where the sun is, and it's midday, that's south. So south is that way. I don't know. So north is this way. Well, let's go this way. I have no idea where we're going at right now. We're going to have to find a point of reference. We could be going back out onto the ice, for all I can tell. Sure looks that way, doesn't it? Yep. Guess what? We're heading right back to the shack. But right here, we're going to drop something. We're going to drop this and this. So that's going to be our markers. Tell us which direction to go. So we're going to line that up. There's our center dot, and off we go in that direction. So this should bring us back to the moldy meat and the crows. There's the moldy meat and the crows. There we go. We can start to see stuff suddenly. It's clearing off. Well, let's take a look at our map and see what we can see here. So we're somewhere in here, right? Might as well, might as well map it, eh? Well, that didn't help much. I think we're here somewhere. little tin can marks the center of the deer where the deer herd hangs out so north is that way if you can believe that so we're looking for the rifle back at the Quonset hut because it wasn't it wasn't there in the fishing hut where I expected it to be. So I think it's on the floor of the Quonset somewhere. Empty, empty, empty. Convenient that the door points straight towards town. Well, this, this episode hasn't been a whole lot of fun. 
I should uh, I should finish my Bubba story, shouldn't I? Yeah. Not feeling it today. Not seeing that moose anymore. That's it's not good. We have two cooking pots. I wonder what we can do with them. We could bring them over to where we were cooking bear meat, or we can set up a campfire here and cook a bunch of meat. Maybe that's what we'll do. Wind chill is zero. That's a good good sign. How come we don't have a uh, magnifying glass? We should have a magnifying glass. We have two pots here already. There's a magnifying glass. We have some stuff to drop here, don't we? We have this to drop. And we have two cured guts and another cured guts. So what can we do with that? Um, we can make some more snares. And we need more reclaimed wood to make anything else. Can make another bow. And we can air make arrow shafts. And simple arrows, which we have zero arrow shafts and zero arrow heads. That's okay. And we need five hours to make that. I think we can do it. So we now have a survival bow. And it's nighttime and we can go to sleep. If we can figure out where we put the rifle, I think it's in here. Empty, 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 empty. Searched. Nope. Empty, 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 empty. Empty and empty. So perhaps we put it in here. Empty, empty, 
empty and empty over here. Oh, no. So cooking pots. Well, that's annoying. There's a rifle. Okay, so we now have bows and arrows and rifle boats. And a whetstone. So, rifles at 97. We don't have the rifle cleaning kit. Because where did we leave that? I can never remember. some more reclaimed wood to make more snares and outside here there's all kinds of reclaimed wood and the wind is going from that way so let's go over here here's some pallets There, now we have all kinds of reclaimed wood. So we can make even more rabbit snares. I want to double the number of rabbit snares and see if our rabbit take increases. So we have zero cure guts. What the heck? Why do we have zero cured guts? Because we, we... What? Well, I'm... Fresh guts, fresh. Deer hides. We're low on cured guts. That's what we're low on. Oh, oh because we used we used cured guts to make the bow. That's why. That's why we don't have any left. So we can't really make any more snares. But we can put the uh, we can put the reclaimed wood in here. And we can craft, we can make, uh, we can make arrow shafts.
need a few more feathers. No problem with that. We got lots of feathers. That's enough to make two more. We're getting a bit thirsty, aren't we? Okay, let's uh, eat something. Ooh, we were hungry. And we're getting very thirsty now. weird we need more crow feathers well, we can make six arrows so we're going to need to make four, five more. So that means five arrowheads. And we have zero. So let's grab five more. Okay. And how many feathers do we need? Six. How many have we got? Six, five feathers, arrowheads, five. Right? Yeah, okay, we got tons of arrowheads. We got five arrow shafts, six crow feathers. We're going to need more. We're going to need more. It's dark. Uh, so let's eat something. Fairly high quality f food in there. Uh, we're low on meat, it looks like. This is uh, food and some some stuff. Lantern fuel, bedroll that needs repairing. Simple arrow. It's still very, very early. I'm hoping that we have...
I'm hoping we can spot that moose. I kind of want to make that moose hide bag. So we should make a fire right about here. Oh, we do not have anything to make fire with. So we need some wood. We put all our wood here and these two cooking pots. That sounds like Aurora. Yeah, it is. Let's see, do we have... Let's try the radio. It sort of kind of works. kind of used up all of our wood in that last and that's weird <coughs> 10 sticks that's all we got and a torch okay So we don't need some more firewood, it looks like. There's pallets over here. We can break them down. That was the four button. And we're going to use a stick. There. Chance of success 85%. Cool. We can actually make fire without a match. And we have two cooking spots here. Isn't that handy? Well, the auroras are kind of going that way. Beautiful, eh? I 
just did a screenshot. Fifty two minutes, twenty four minutes. How come that's only twenty four? Because guess what? It's only half a kilo. So let's look for another half kilo. No, nope, it's all one kilo pieces. Two hours left on our campfire. Okay, that cooks up all of our meat. 26 minutes, one hour, 52. Okay, and we have a ton of cooked meat now. We could cook more. I kind of like to know where that moose got to. What can we do for an hour? Harvest stuff. There's some pallets over here. We could harvest that up. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's do it. Our meat should not burn in one hour and 30 minutes if we're lucky. We get back there quick. And the fire didn't go out. And the fire is almost out. the fire went out okay well that's that's enough anyways Is it windy here? Maybe. We're just not getting a fire going. Let's check the wind chill. Wind chill is minus one, so it's not windy here. And we are a bit dehydrated. So let's eat some of this. What the heck was that noise?
Okay. I'm going to go leave the rest of this reclaimed wood in here because we're going to need it for making snares. So there's 12 of them in there right now. Six more. Okay. And guts. 76. We're going to need another day. Another day and we have fresh black bear, fresh guts. Let's move that over there. There's 69 and there's a 76, so we have lots of guts. Let's get rid of our stuff that we don't need. Crafting supplies. Simple arrows. So we have one snare. That's all we got is one snare, eh? Okay. Can sharpen things that needs sharpening. So, what do we need to put in there? Not much. Well, let's go back to our fire where we were cooking. Keep an eye peeled out for the moose. Fifty-two. Okay. Very warm. Air temperature is twenty-four degrees centigrade. That means it's above freezing out here. Isn't that strange? Forty-four minutes to kill. What can we do for forty-four minutes? What about harvest some of these? One hour and thirty minutes. Too long. What's over here? Nothing useful. We need a nice limb out here. What I need over here is some more crow feathers. Did we leave crow feathers there at the other place? I think we did. Eh, it's hard to run in the wind, isn't it? Well now, can we use these for target practice? Do you suppose we could? Okay, we've already got the... Uh, 46% and there's 0.7. Okay, we'll just leave it. 
we'll go back because we've probably wasted an hour wandering around here. If we could have found a limb, we could harvest that. Let's grab some sticks. Here's a branch. Break that down five minutes. Too heavy. I know, buddy. Hang in there. We're carrying all this meat. We've got three stink bars. Ten minutes, eight minutes. We got five hours left, and we have two more batches to go so we got lots to we don't need let's put this cooked meat back in our meat locker over here food let's put that in there that in there and all this stuff That pretty well fills it up, doesn't it? And we have some coffee. We don't really need. We have coffee over here too. Thirty-seven minutes. That took twenty minutes to do that. Wow. We need something to aim at here, don't we? I'm aiming right at those grass there. And that's where it hit. That lost 5% by going in there. So we need a way to measure distance. Hmm. Five minutes. Hmm. We need something a little further away. I think what I'm going to do is drop a piece of wood here, reclaimed wood. And we don't have reclaimed wood on us. Isn't that convenient? Oh, lovely. Yeah, I'm going to aim with that campfire. So the drop was not very far at all. It was about 
an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to aim again. You see where it's hitting? It's about an eighth of an inch low from there. So the aim point is going to be right there. I'm putting a green cross on the screen. That's that's where the arrow goes at that far. Let's go back and check on our food here. Oh, it's done. So we need something that's the right size. Uh, what can we get? Torch? Yeah, a torch will work. And one of these will work. Okay. That serves for targets. Okay, from here, we're going to count the steps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. So that's about twenty six steps. You see those steps? There's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, seven, twenty eight, nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. So Two more steps this way. One, two. That's 40. So if I line my little cross up on there, that should hit really close. We're not hurting our arrows too much. So that still fell short. So let's drop something here for reference, for size. Let's drop this. And what else have we got? A ruined torch. So I'm thinking that's about the distance of a of a bear of a the torso of a deer. Look about right to you. Maybe a bit small. Well, let's go check on our food here. A 
Because I think it's getting cooked. Two minutes until ready. Okay, so three hours, 25 minutes. So uh, we take some torches out. quality torches are they two hours 25 minutes so we need an hour and a half roughly dump a pile of these torches on the floor here just so we don't lose track of them they're all 36 37 yeah that's weird okay now that fire has two hours on it so we know that this is not going to boil away. So let's go back to our hunting thing here. You know when we uh we walk with the bow, we sort of walk we walk funny, don't we? Yeah, somewhere around here is 40, wasn't it? Hard to tell now. So I'm going to aim twice as high as that. And see if that doesn't get really close. Make a mark on the screen. There's another mark on the screen with the erase marker. And I'm going to shoot another shot. Interesting. When the bow, when you draw the bow back, the aim point moves. So here's our arrows. None of them made it. Well, I can't even make those things out, and they look to be a little bit far apart. So, the size of a deer from here. Okay, let's let's pace it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Let's see from here. I'm going to aim another thing above. So this is a full centimeter above the little white dot, dot or I'm the white dot is full centimeter above where I want it to hit. Okay. So let's go and see. By the way, I think we can get closer than this to the to the Just, we still can't seem to get any closer than 40, 30 feet, 30 paces, or 30 yards. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can hit that tree over there then. Okay, so another mill up. I'm going to put another green mark on the screen where I'm aiming. Okay, well, that's the center of that campfire. That's pretty darn close now. Hard rolling here, eh? Getting tired, buddy. So we're still short, and we missed by quite a bit. So it's hard to get, it's hard to hit 40. So where were we at 40? Right around here, right? Eh? Which is up by this tree. So this is this is where we're gonna aim from. See if we can hit that things. So I'm gonna aim a little bit higher. Ah, that sounds pretty close. I'm gonna mark that spot on my thing. Slow, slow, slow. Because wind chill is 12. We're just so tired, aren't we? We're fatigued, that's why our carrying capacity is only 25.91. Oops, what happened there? Did we just drop something? Oh, 
did the arrow go? Oh, there are two arrows. Way up here. Okay. So does the running pace longer than the uh, walking pace? Yeah. Look at that, it is. It's twice as far. Look at that. Look at that. Running has longer paces. Seems to be almost two meters. So I'm thinking that when my deer is this wide, roughly that wide, that's how much drop he's going to need. If I've got it right, if that's the width of a deer. I think it's more than a deer. I'm going to sketch it like this. So when my deer, you maybe is not even that big, smaller than that, oh, about there, oh, rub that out, rub that out, put that like, like that, that like that. Let's call that the width of a deer at that range. That look like the width of a deer to you? Or do I have a deer sized target that I can I need to drop a deer and measure it? So this weather isn't exactly conducive to our experiments, is it? We've got a bunch of water here. And we'll drop some water right here. got room in here we do indeed so let's put these guys in there we've got point one there that will hang on to that we got a little bit of tomato soup left and we it's just about time to go to bed my goodness so we're rested and everything so let's sleep for 12 hours We'll go to blow down a deer and measure how far away we are when we shoot at it. Oh, it's an aurora again. So the sun's almost up. Is that a deer hide? Sure. That's a deer hide. Let's take that and use that as our reference. That should be to the right scale, shouldn't it? Why are we so slow? Is it because it's windy? We're only carrying 35. I think it's because of the wind.
Ah. Okay. So from there to there. I want to use one of these guys. So that deer is very small at that range. So let's see how big it looks. Yeah, see it's about the width of that campfire, which is even smaller. Where's our reference tree? Well, that's that one. It's that tree over there. That's our 40 meter tree. Okay, so this thing is way too wide. I'm going to erase these. going to be something like that. Where did the arrow go? Way over here. So that arrow actually went a little too far. So I want to hit that hide. I'm here. I can't even see the darn thing. I need to move those meat bags over and use them as aiming points, I'm afraid. So the distance between those that's about it there. So we want to hit. 
hit that hide, we aim at those things. So let's try it from here. So that's too much, so we're right about there. Well, that's too high. So that means I gotta redraw this up to about there. Right? That's gonna hit right on my two two bags. Okay. Okay, let's center this. Okay. Put marks on the screen right there where those two bags are. And see if when we shoot this hits there. It's still a little far. So a little down, a little bit down. Ooh, that's pretty darn close. Oh, right on the money. So right there. You want another video? I'm recording, yeah. What you up to right now? I'm recording. What I'm doing is doing the BDC reticle. So what this does is calibrates when you're aiming. So if I shoot right now, I can hit that hide over there. See that? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's dead on. Yeah, pretty close. And you see the marks. The marks are calibrated to the width of a deer. Yeah, you've got your own little range finder kind yeah, of. Yeah, range setup. finder. Yeah. yeah. And nice. the arrows went a little bit further, but. Well, it's further calibration. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, man, you wouldn't believe how sticky brioche dough is. It's. Oh, it's very sticky, yeah. Yeah, very sticky. One and a half sticks of butter, by the way. It's, it's uh, a mess. Oh. <laughs> you want me to let you get back to it? That's going to be about right there. So I'm going to put some marks on the screen. Some more marks on the screen. Get over there, you. Very sensitive. Okay. There's my marks. Okay. See if I'm close. So I'm going to aim right at it with these marks. Oh, we overshot, so down a bit. Okay, it's there. Moving these marks up to there. And that's the aim point for a deer that big. Weird, eh? What's going on here? The arrows are going further. Where's the other arrow? I shot two, didn't I? Oh yeah, here it is. And here's another one over here. I 
Let's shoot it point blank. Point blank's really high. So, point blank is way the heck up here. And it's right there. Right there. So I want to find out the range about about there, right? That's about as close as I can get to a so it's gonna aim in between those. Right about there. Right on. So that's right on the button at that range. So I'm going to mark that. So we're going to back up until, until we're about there, and then we're going to calibrate to that one, right on the money. So these ones are good, that one's not. So let's back up some more until we're even farther away. shoot from there and see if we hit a little bit too high yeah that's pretty close right there oops Turn it. Take my hand off the darn thing. Okay. That's it. And if we back up even further. Until we get way the heck back here. Now. That was a uh, yeah. So we have reference marks there. Uh, that's for that range. This is the farthest range we've got right now. Way over. So it's closer to here. I have zero arrows. Pretty close there. OK. 
Okay, so let's back up until I'm even further away. That tree there. Okay. So that tree there marks those two. So it needs to be there. So that's the range of a deer that far away. So we now have our boat drop calculator drawn on the thing. So now it remains to be seen if we can get that close to a deer. Sixty six per cent. Well, I suppose we could go deer hunting now. Where do I want that? I guess I want to lay it down next to the deer after I shoot it. It's midday, we should be able to find some deer. Take some food. That'll fill us up and drink some water. Sorry, buddy, I didn't hear what you said there. Middle of a snowstorm. Heck of a way to hunt. Well, there's our fishing huts. That'd be the deer ground over there. I don't know if the deer are going to be out there. Maybe if we fish for a while, there'll be deer. That's usually a good idea. Wait for this storm to get over with. Yeah, I kind of want to kill a deer and then slap this hide down next to it and compare the length of it. They should be just about identical. Because we calibrated those meat sacks using the uh, width of the hide.
So you might wonder why I don't shoot the deer with an arrow. Well, we could. There's some more feathers. That's good. That's all the crow feathers. I don't see any deer. So, let's go fishing. We'll go fishing until we find deer. We can also set out the rabbit snares. I want to do that. I want to do the rabbit snares before we go to bed. So let's uh, line up that. Okay, we're gonna line that up with uh, with that hut over there. So that hut is right there. So we want to put that stuff there. So when we stand right here. And look at those things. That's aiming us right at that fishing hut over there. Got it? We don't keep. So now, let's make a nice fire. Zero. Okay, wooden matches. Why don't we start a uh, torch? Not that one. Not that one. How come I don't have torches? Ah, do lever. Did I use up all the torches? Possibly I did. Well, that's annoying. Did I leave any torches out here? No. Hundred percent, it says. Ooh, what did we just add? We must have burned up our torch a while ago. Two hours, 42 minutes. We don't need that. We could take a torch. to drop my torch come on drop it's only 21 percent why is it only 21 oh i think it's the hotness of your fire that has something to do with it we have two hours that gives us six hours okay 
We have midday. Let's go out and check if there's any. I don't see any deers. I think everything's cooked. Yeah, we can take that. We can cook that up. Twenty nine minutes. Let's start fishing. Thirty five minutes. Fishing tackle. <coughs> okay, now we have lots of fishing tackle. Thirty one minutes. We caught nothing. What can we cook? Let's heat that up. Six minutes until ready. We'll, we'll go outside. Check if there's deer. I don't see deer. That's annoying, isn't it? There. Still a bit still a bit thirsty, but we have uh rose hip tea here. We got all kinds of seventy nine sticks in there. There's food in there. We have food yeah, we have we have a three kilo fish and a one kilo fish so we're not going to need to carry food for a while wow four kilos We don't actually have to cook this guy right now. We can save him for a while. Let's do that. Drop. He's a great big guy, too. Look at that beauty. Well, what time is it getting to be? Late afternoon. That line just right up. When we're touching the edge there, that line just right up. I'm going to put those right in line too. That lines up with that, lines up with that. 
I see no deers, which is... Okay, I think we go and set our snares now. What's what's heavy? Okay, that gets us down. 31. I don't have a whole lot more snares. Snack time. That just gives us a little bit of rest. Now where's our dude here? Our dude that's holding our holding our snares. He's gotta be around this corner here. There he is. Got our snares, Bubba? Oh, you got a bunch of rabbits here. He's got guts on him. Oh. We got a ruined snare. We got a bunch of more snares in here. Let's see how many snares. They're all ruined. What the hell's going on here? What's with all these ruined snares? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, we'll put these guys back. Five, six, seven, eight. We have lost snares. Okay, this looks pretty sheltered here, so let's put him in here. Oops, that's not what I meant. How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put ten here. So that's ten. Okay, and over here we'll put ten more. Five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10. So there's 10 there and 10 there. Let's put 10 over here. So that's six. So we only have 26 snares now. What the heck's with that? Snares get ruined even when they're inside of corpses. That's not fair. That's not fair. Too low to, to harvest, eh? Okay. Well, we're going to get out of the wind here and harvest these, harvest these rabbits up. Almost sundown. And let's look at our journal. See how many rabbits we've got and how many we need to get more. Rabbit snared 51. 51 already? Okay, so if there's more over there. Well, that venison will cook up. So that weighs to where the deer are supposed to be, and they're not there. 20 minutes. Let's add fuel. We don't have fuel because... that gives us three hours and we need that Let's put our uh, bed down. Right there. And we'll harvest up these rabbits. Where are they? We just want the gut.
and throw these rabbits down here. Okay. Looks like nighttime. We're going to leave that for a while because we can cook it later. And let's get some uh, sticks. Oh, stop whining. Can't add more fuel to this fire right now. Okay, good. We'll put the sticks back in there. I'm going to put some of these matches in there too. I only like the wooden matches for now anyways so there we've got all wooden matches and we're exhausted and the time is sundown so let's sleep for 12 hours And then see if we got any rabbits. We had 51 before. What do we have now? Rabbits, 53. So we just got two of them. And the time is just daybreak. Just try to sleep for one more hour. You're not tired enough. Okay. If I can fit it in there. Oh yeah, it'll fit in there. There's nothing in there but matches now. 65% frozen? How can it be frozen when we got a fire in here? Huh? Riddle me that, Batman. There. Well, that coffee will stay warm as long as there's a fire there. I don't see any deer. That don't mean there ain't any, but... Let's go get our rabbits. We have a bunch of guts. 
we get to take back soon. I'm really disappointed that those snares got ruined out outside with with the guy there. That means if we're not snaring, we need to leave them in the house or something, eh? Interesting. None there. Two there. None there. Okay, so it matters. Okay, we're going to leave these guys. Two out of five. Are they tripped? This one's tripped. So those two. So let's set them again. Okay, so the best spot is here. Not over there, here. And I think we'll just leave these guts in the house here. It's closer. We're not ready to go in yet. I think we're going to find deer today because it's not storming. So that would be a good day to find deer. And check how the size of a deer compares to the size of a, of a hide. They should be darn near the same, shouldn't they? Now, did we leave any guts in here from before? Probably not. Let's dump them all down here. We have five of them. This is cured. We got rabbits. Okay, now I bet you there should be deer now. Drop our two rabbits here. We might as well pick up some more wood while we're here. Still early morning, mid morning. But we can replenish our stick supply while we're here. So the last time we checked was 53, right? 
Let's see if we got any more rabbits. Rabbits snared 53. So no more. But buddy down here is uh is uh no more rabbits. Ooh, that's just our tracks. Any more feathers? I'm gonna have to take a break because uh, I don't see feathers. There's one. That's all the feathers. From the looks of it. So I'm not seeing deer. Grab a couple more bottles of water here. Because what do we got for water? Not a lot. Grab some more meat here. Okay, we can eat those. Wow, we were really hungry there. I guess they weren't that big. I see no rabbit. I see no deer. Ooh, that was a small one. One liter. Okay, that'll do. So why is there no deer? Hmm. Well, perhaps we uh, go over there and wait. Could be more feathers over here. But I have some food here, so I need to take a break and eat. So I'll need to save. Oh goody, feathers. Do not see deers. You see something moving over there, though. Okay, let's go there. That could be a wolf. And there would be deers further down.
That's a wolf, all right. So let's equip the bow and arrow. See if we can hit that sucker from far away. Well, I must have got close enough to scare him. He left any tracks. Oh, there's a bear. So that's about as close as I can get to him. Let's see if I can get an arrow into this. Question is, did I did I hit him? I got close enough to scare him. But I don't see the arrow. I don't see the arrow. So let's try it again. Jeez. So you can get mauled by a bear if you hit him with a bow and arrow. Nice. Oh, man. We are so roughed up. Our clothes are going to be ruined. Oh, he's just ripping us. Oh, man. Blood loss. Affliction. Infection rusk. Okay. So let's stay down. That bear ain't bleeding at all, is he? I want to kill that sucker. My arrow, bow and arrow won't aim, that's why. Well, I'd be tempted to hit him with a... Now, where the heck did we shoot him? Because we've lost two arrows now. Losing arrows is a pain in the butt, isn't it? Well, I gotta get back. I have supper to eat. There's wolves. But I do not see deer. And I would like to blow down a deer. I'd kind of like to hit one of these wolves. Man, you can't even get close to them, can you? And they start running away. It's going to detect me any minute now. There, that's about as close as I can get. Let's try that. Oh, he runs away. As soon as you bring out the rifle. I give up. I don't know how to get wolves on Pilgrim with bow and arrow. It's just not going to be easy. Was that a bark? So he saw it. He saw a game, did he? Yeah, I'm going to go in this house here and end off the recording for now. And we'll pick this up later. 
And this house, from the looks of it, has a fireplace. Uh, it has a stove and a fridge. Oh, we haven't searched this before. Okay, well that's enough for now.